In 2020, the presidency was decided by just 43,000 votes across three states, and local organizers did that. Over the last five years, we've done a lot together, from changing the trajectory of this country to electing mayors, sheriffs, district attorneys. We've tracked over a hundred close races that were decided by just a few thousand or even a few hundred votes where local organizers made a difference. These electoral wins have determined the outcome of hundreds of policies from climate to voting rights to justice, which have made a difference in the lives of hundreds of millions of people. MVP exists to get them the support that they need to organize their own community. We are out here trying to do organizing that will not just withstand 2020, but start looking at 2030. I think that MVP is different from other organizations because it has connections on the ground that allow it to get money to the places it can do the most good and build enduring power. The secret sauce of MVP is our state advisors. State advisors work for MVP, but they work with communities, for communities, for our grantees on the ground. And I love it because many of the people at MVP have come from movement work and have been organizers and understand what it's like. We don't just provide them with a check. We give them the resources, the tools, the training, the coaching to do what they do best. The support from MVP has been critical to our work. It's really rare to be trusted as people of color, to be trusted as women, and to be trusted as young people. MVP believes in these groups because they are the trusted messengers of the community, and that's why we need to continue to invest in local organizing. We were able to go, you know, door to door and face to face with folks in our community, and we were able to engage communities that had never voted before. And what happens when we engage those folks? We win. It's that simple. Imagine if they had twice as many resources. I feel excited and I feel proud we can achieve more for the next five years, the next 10 years, the next 20 years if we come together. Let's make the 2020s a progressive decade. <laughs>